Hey everybody, welcome to another video. This time it's another pre-release deck. It'll be my second one, which I also had help with after I made an original deck with a god card in it as well. And But it was just horrible. So I switched it to this. Um, first card's Ifner Deadlands. You can tap it to add a colorless to your mana pool, tap, or tap it and pay one life to add a swamp to your mana pool. You can pay two swamps and two, tap, sacrifice a desert, put two negative one, negative one counters on target creature and opponent controls. Activate that ability only each time you cast sorcery. Our next card I had two of, Desert of the Glorified. It enters the battlefield tap. I can tap it to add a swamp to my mana pool or cycle it for swamp and one, which I did use this, but mainly as mana. If near Deadlands pretty much never came out. The next card is Romanap Ruins. I can tap it to add a colorless to my mana pool. I could tap it and pay one life to add mountain to my mana pool. Pay two mountains and two, tap, sacrifice a desert, and it deals two damage to each opponent. That could be good in Commander. Next one is Scavenger Grounds. I can tap it to add a colorless to my mana pool. Pay two, tap, sacrifice a desert, exile all cards from all graveyards. Which could be good if you're going against a lot of embalming exerted. Next card is Burning Fist Minotaur. It has a cost of Mountain and 1. It has First Strike, pay Mountain and 1, discard a card. Burning Fist Minotaur gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn, and it's a 2-1. I don't think I really used this either, to tell you the truth. Next card is Thorned Moloch. It costs Mountain and 2. It has Prowess, which means cast a non-creature spell. This creature gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. And it has first strike as long as it's attacking and it's a 2 2. So that's pretty nice. I mean, it's not permanent first strike, but still. Next card is Kindled Fury. It costs a mountain. And target creature gets plus 1, plus 0 and gains first strike until end of turn, which first strike is always nice. It can mean the difference between life and death. Or if you got Death Touch, it means auto death for your opponent, unless if they have first strike too. Blur of Blades. Mountain and one, it put a negative one, negative one counter on target creature. Blur of Blades deals two damage to that creature's controller. I still like this card. I mean, it's common, but it's still pretty good in my opinion. Next card is Magma Spray. It costs a mountain, and it deals two damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Which can make a lot of difference with Afflict and Gods. You know, I it, it's good. It's good. Frontline Devastator is our next card, and it costs Mountain and 3. It has Afflict 2, which means if it's blocked, defending player loses 2 life. You can pay Mountain and 1 to give it plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn, and it's a 3-3. Three, three. I love Afflict so much you don't even know. Next card is Chaos Maw. It costs 2 Mountains and 5, and when it enters the battlefield, it deals 3 damage to each other creature. And it's a 6-6. Six, six. Oh my god, I messed up when playing this because I didn't notice that it was a creature too. Otherwise, I probably would have played it. God, I'm an idiot. Consuming Fervor it costs a mountain. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus three, and has at the beginning of your upkeep put a negative one, negative one counter on this creature. Oh my god, I could have made that chaos small. A nine, nine. Oh god, the pain. Next card is Thresher Lizard. Mountain and two. It gets plus one, plus two, as long as you have one or fewer cards in your hand, and it's a three, two. I feel so stupid now. Oh, I can't believe I no didn't notice that. See, this is why I'm a bad magic player. Next card is Crash Through. It costs a mountain. Creatures you control gain trample until end of turn, and you get to draw a card. That's pretty good, because, you know, draw a card. What is that normally in? Blue. And trample is normally in green, isn't it? Though I guess it is in red, too. Next card is Firebrand Archer. It costs Mountain and 1, and I like this. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Firebrand Archer deals 1 damage to each opponent, and it's a 2-1. I mean, I wish it was a 2-2, two, two, but for 2, I could never attack and do damage. Supernatural Stamina costs a Swamp. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus 2, plus 0, and gains... When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. Which I used a creature to attack. They blocked, which would have killed it. And then I did that. So I could get it back. Next card is a Moaning Wall, which I had two of in this deck. It costs Swamp and two. It has Defender and Cycling of two. And it's a 0-5. And like I've said before, I love walls. 
I mean, really, why not bl block? I mean, next card is Torment of Venom. It costs two swamps and two. Put three negative one, negative one counters on target creature. Its controller loses three life unless he or she sacrifices another non-land permanent or discards a card. Which, if they don't have no cards in their hand, there's your answer. Next card is Grizzly Survivor. It costs Swamp and Two. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, Grizzly Survivor gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn and is a 2-3. It's good. This is one I like. Blighted Bat. It costs Swamp and Two. It has Flying, and you can pay one to give it haste until end of turn, and it's a 2-1. So, I mean, it's for four, but you get a Flying Haste for 2-1. That gets to attack. But if you don't do haste, it's three, you know. Next card is Merciless Eternal. It costs Swamp and Two. It has Afflict Two. And for Swamp and Two, you can discard a card and Merciless Eternal, Eternal gets plus two, plus two, and end of turn, and it's a two, two. It's not bad considering it has Afflict. No matter what they do, they're losing two. Um, Wretched Camel. Told you I like camels. Costs Swamp and One, and when it dies, if you control a desert or there's a desert card in your graveyard, target player discards a card, and it's a 2-1. God, that thing looks creepy. So angry looking. Next card is Apocalypse Demon. It costs two Swamps and four. It has Flying, and its power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. At the beginning of your upkeep, tap Apocalypse Demon unless you sacrifice another creature. Which, I mean, that's pretty nice. It helps itself. Next card is Without Weakness. It costs Swamp and One. Target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn. It has Cycling of Two. I'd probably cycle that more than anything else, considering Apocalypse Demon. So, Grim Strider is our next card. It costs Swamp and Three, and it gets negative one, negative one for each card in your hand. And it's a 6-6 six, six if you have no cards in your hand, at least. I did use that. When I was down to like three or less cards in my hand. So it wouldn't be like a zero zero. And then there's the scorpion god that costs red, black, and three. Whenever a creature with a negative one, negative one counter on it dies, draw a card. Pay mountain, swamp, and one. Put a negative one, negative one counter on another target creature. When the scorpion god dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. And I believe it was a six five. Sorry. I'm bad on timing with this, but... If I make it too long, I'm just sitting there rambling for much longer than I'd like to. And in this deck, I had 13 basic lands. What do y'all think of my deck? Well, really, it's not mine considering someone helped me, I guess. So, what do you... Do you like their deck instead? <laughs> um, I do try to make my own decks, but since there's a time crunch, I think I try to do it too quickly. And it just... It just doesn't go too well for me because of that. I mean, it's totally my fault, though. But, uh, personally, I think they just give us 30 minutes to make a deck. If you're going to do 45 minutes per round, why not give us 45 minutes to make a deck? I mean, if everyone gets done in 30, start the rounds. But, otherwise, 40 minutes. Or, well, 45, sorry. Well, anyway, what do you think of my deck? Uh, do you think I could edit it to be... A mediocre standard deck. Which I pro I'll probably do that with the one of the decks from my pre-release. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a nice day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.